um, to start off, you're going to need a um, white base. I have already primed my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So I'm going to take um, NYX eyeshadow base in white. Uh, I think that this retails around $8.99. I could be wrong. It might be a little bit less. But we are going to put that on our eyelid and up into where the crease is. And under the eye. Now remember, if you don't put a base down, or not a base, but a primer down, um, this will crease. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, or if you can't afford a base. So then you're going to take a flat shader brush, one flat shader brush like this. And we're actually going to be using um, the BH Cosmetics First Edition palette. It's mine broke, the top part. Um, and we're going to take this very light blue color, like you can see, I've used a lot of it, and we're going to mix it with this kind of a medium turquoise blue, and that is going to go on the inner part of our eye here, a little bit into the crease, but not much. And you want to make sure that it's not too dark, but you will lighten it up a bit with, um, what is it? Secret weapon from Jesse's girl when you put it in the inner, inner corner of your eye. So I'm going to make that. And that's on the inner half of the eye. Then we're going to go into this. Well, actually, I think it's this one. No, it is this one. This lighter green one. And you're going to mix it with this weird. It looks like a lime color. And you're going to mix them together. So it's mostly the dark color with a little bit of the light because you don't want it to be too too dark or too green and that goes on the outer half and you just kind of mix them together add a little bit more of the light color so after you've done that you get something that sort of looks like this and um, if you feel like there's too much green just take the lighter blue color that we had and just kind of go over the edge and make sure that you blend this out this is not a blocking system we are not blocking color we are not having stripes on our face so as you can see it's blended out really well um and what i'm gonna do now is what i did on this other eye but it ended up um i added more purple afterwards is we're gonna take this really dark this is blue really dark blue um the shade right before like a navy blue it sort of is a navy blue i'm gonna put that on this like outer corner and slightly in this direction and this is just to kind of darken up your corner a little bit because the purple i'm using isn't quite su it's not really dark it's from sugar pill but you know that's always fun to do something and not like it and it comes out weird oh okay so then you're gonna blend it out but this already has purple on it so if you see pink or whatever then that's fine but whatever okay so then we are going to lift this I think when you get it the pink colors are on the top we're gonna take this hot pink color right here get a little bit on our blending brush if you have clients do not blow on your brushes okay tap them off I have an eyebrow hair on my face and blend that out. If it's not super dark, it's okay. It doesn't have to be super dark. You will go over it. You can go over it and layer it. You can do whatever and make things the way that you want them. So once it's from the Sugar Pill um, Burning Heart Palette, it's the color Poison Plum right here. And this, if you do put it on white and blend it out, it will kind of turn pink, but not enough for me, I don't think. And you're going to kind of dot, like tap it there, and then move it. Because if you just automatically swish it, you'll end up with too much color. Um, or blotchy looking stuff, and you don't want blotchy, blotchy sucks. But like I said, it'll end up being darker down here, and it will be beautiful, and you will love it. So once that is done, you want to take a little bit more purple 
and kind of go back over that blue that you had on that corner right here. Um, I would suggest using a different brush for blending, so I'm just going to take this really flat, it's like a flat kabuki type thing. It's called a concealer buffer, but I'm not going to buff any concealer. I'm just going to use it as, okay, so once that's done, we're going to take the same brush, wipe it off, make sure it's all nice and clean. Um, we're going to go into that green that we had, and it's going to go right here in the center of where the green is. The dark blue is right there, and you will go over that with the purple. And then the we're just going to take that medium teal color you had before, and that's just going to blend into the green, and you can actually use the brush now and just blend out a little bit. And we're going to go into that purple, Love Plus, I believe it's called. No, Poison Plum. I'll just go over that and darken that up a bit. And you can use your fingers slightly to blend that out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do our eyeliner, which I am cheating. Well, I'm not really cheating, but, um, I, where did I put it? Oh, we're going to take, um, Max Fluid Line and Black Track and a angled brush, which you can tell is angled. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we're going to do our waterline this way. If you make a mistake, just use your finger and push up, and it'll look beautiful. Okay, so as you can see, I have this, and if you have any, like, separation in your eyeliner between your eyelashes, you can just kind of spot that in, or use a liquid eyeliner and go over it, but I don't want to do that much today. Um, I'm going to put on some mascara, and today we are using... Mary Kay's Lash Lengthening Mascara comes in a tube like this, and this is in black. Oh my gosh, I feel like an idiot. Um, so we're going to take NYX's Pure White Eyeliner, and we are going to put that in our corner here. And you're going to take your pinky and pick up Jessie's Girl's Secret Weapon. And dot that into where we just put the NYX Pure White. If you need a fixing an eyeliner, you can do that after you put on mascara. Have you noticed that when you do your lashes, you make a retarded face? Like, I do this all the time. And then try not to do it. You can choose to put on false lashes or um, whatever you feel like you want to put on, but I'm just going to kind of leave it at this because I kind of feel like that's all that's really needed. Um, and then um, I am going to put a little bit of a brown bone color, and this is Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. Um, <laughs> set and you're just gonna poke that into our brow bone area or stipplet or whatever you want to call it okay and so there's the look you can put on some lip gloss and whatever and glam it up I just have um, some lip smack licks <laughs> lip smackers on or lip smackers whatever you want to call it and that's it so, I hope you guys like the look. I will post pictures at the end of the video. And I will talk to you guys all later. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe this video. And I will talk to you guys all later. Alright, bye makeup freaks.